Chicago woman has a warning for other drivers tonight. As CBS 2's V. Wynn reports, the woman claims she was swindled by a tow truck driver who took her car and tried to charge her thousands of dollars. Jaylee Jackson was pulling into this parking garage Monday night in Old Town when she hit a patch of black ice, damaged her car, and had to call State Farm for a tow. An hour later in the garage, a car or a tow truck comes in and he yelled my last name, Jackson, and he said, I'm here to tow you. She admits the name of the towing company was different from the one given to her by State Farm. She thought they had sent someone else, but it wasn't until she got a phone call from State Farm later that she realized something was wrong. Come to find out, this company must have been listening to a police scanner of some sort, heard my name, heard my location, showed up. When the tow truck company wouldn't return her calls, she called police. They found her car at a lot on the south side. Jackson even took pictures of the tow truck showing the name on Divas Towing Inc. We tracked the company back to this warehouse on the south side. No one was there. We spoke to the owner on the phone. Records show his name is Jose Ortega. He says he fired the tow truck driver and says that's not how they do business. They were trying to charge my insurance $4,000. I mean, that's not right. It does not cost that much to get a tow. The owner says he's not sure how the tow truck driver came up with the $4,000 cost. According to court records, four complaints have been filed against this company, which has been in business since last summer. The owner says he's aware of those complaints and says they've been handled. As for Jackson. And I'm hoping that me talking about this and spreading the word, people will be more vigilant. Now, Jackson is urging others to take pictures of the tow truck, the license plate, and more importantly, to ask questions before the tow. If you have any issues, you can file a complaint with the Illinois Commerce Commission in the newsroom. V. Wynn, CBS 2 News. Erica, back to you. Okay, thank you, V.